Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? So, just like if you've seen in one of my past videos, those 15 cards that we got graded with PSA, we took those as soon as we got them back and we listed them on eBay so that we could get them sold for the holiday season, Christmas, you know what I mean? What's up? Merry Christmas. So, uh, we did the same thing. And then we got those three cards, the three nines, got scarred again, the two first edition Dark Charizards, and the one SV49 that also came back in nine. Well, all three of those, we went and went ahead and listed right away. And we did them just like the last ones. We did them seven-day auctions with two minutes in between. Oh, wait, no, this one's got four minutes in between each one because there's only three of them. So, so far, it's been about a day since they've been up. And right now, we got the Dark Charizards listed at 233.33 each for the starting bid. And we got the Shiny Charizard starting out at 277.33 for the starting bid. And so far, with one day in, we got two watchers on one of the first edition Dark Charizard Hollows and two watchers on the SV49. But as you can see, we also have quite a, a good little bit of um, views. So, y'all gonna watch it end with me? You gonna watch it start with me? Until then, holla! Y'all be easy. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Here's your update. So... It is, we only got one day and 22 hours and 50 minutes left. Right now it's 10, 10 p.m. So, so, so. With a little bit under two days left, the first edition Dark Charizard, we don't have any bids yet. We got six watchers on one of the first edition Dark Charizard hollows. No watchers on the other one for some reason. It's probably because they're all watching the one that ends first. And if, if they do want to bid on it and they don't happen to get it, they, can, they know that the other one ends seven minutes later or something well uh and then the shiny charizard sv49 that has four watchers on it that's about it we got 421 views on the first charizard 164 on the sv49 and 123 on the last one so there's your update purse yo 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 what's up what's up what's up here's your update <clears throat> as you can see we got 22 hours 39 minutes left and the first PSA 9, first edition Dark Charizard Hollow got a bid on it, starting at 233. Has nine watchers, 551 views now. The SV49, Shiny Charizard, that got a nine. Got six watchers now, but it, still no bids. And then the other Dark Charizard, same thing. 135 views, only one watcher, no bids. So, that's the update. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? So it's Friday night at 7.22 p.m., that's December 13th, and we got these three cards and that we've been watching. Here's a little update. What, we still, you know, no new bids. Still 233 for the first first edition PSA 9 Hollow Charizard, Dark Charizard. The other one has four watchers on it, but no bids yet. And the SV49 Shiny Charizards got six watchers and no bids. And we got an hour and 39 minutes left. So less than two hours on all three of these bids. We are gonna see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed for me. What's up, Pablo? Yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's up? We back again. So now y'all get to see the end of these auctions. Here it is. It's Friday night, eight fifty-eight. So as you can see, we only got a little bit of time left here. Okay, so we got two first edition Dark Charizard Hollows that are PSA nines and one. SV49 Shiny Charizard from the Hidden Fate set. That's a PSA 9. Now, y'all seen when I unboxed those cards? Well, not when I unboxed them, but you saw when I, uh, not, you saw when I unboxed them from PSA, should I say. When they scar me with all them nuts. So now they sell it. Let's see, this one's at 233 with one bid, 41 seconds left. We're hoping to get some of them last minute jumps. Last time we didn't get them, so hopefully this time we will. Out of all the cards, let me go back real quick, because we got a little bit of time. Out of all the cards, that's the only one with a bid yet. That's all I want to show you. Oh, 18 seconds left. We're still at 233. 233 is a good number for a PSA 9 to begin with. But they do go for more, so let's hope it jumps. Come on. Six seconds. We gonna see. I think I've got these ones ending every three minutes apart or five minutes apart or something. Okay, that one sold for 233.33. 33. 
Not too shabby. Now. Next we have... With three minutes left and 20 seconds at 277.33. Right now we got zero bids. Let's see what happens. Might sell, might not. If it doesn't, then I'll probably put it up for... Uh, just as a buy it now. At a set price. Um, those last cards that didn't sell, what I ended up doing with those was I put them up at, uh, for buy it now for the price that I had started the auctions at. And since then, I've sold... I sold the Gardevoir PSA 8 for... I think I had it for 25 77 or something like that um i sold one of the psa 10 the gem mint um sb 59 that's the mewtwo the shiny mewtwo the green mewtwo i sold one of those for 93.33 so when we were trying to get bids on them nobody wanted to bid on them but then i put them for the buy it now price and they a couple of them sold within the first two days so that's pretty dope i think i sold one more of them i can't remember which one though Let's see, so far we got no bids. Here's the SV, as you can see in this picture. This is, bam. Full Art Charizard GX Hidden Fates SV49 Mint 9. And there he is. And the centering is off. If you, As you can see, the thin silver line above the black line is very thin. Where so on the bottom, it is very thick. That right there's enough to throw off the centering to give it the nine so but this is one of the cards that's the card from the hidden fate set that we are still search searching for ain't been able to find him but we gonna find him i'm gonna keep hunting for him i'm going to i've blown through probably not that many but i've probably uh, at least 200 packs had to have been 200 packs by now on the hidden fates and still ain't got nothing but i haven't opened up any of the mewtwo mew pin boxes which is you know it keeps changing but really what they say is the mewtwo pin boxes is your best chance and then the uh gyarados tins and i've opened a lot of the tins like if i had to guess probably like 15 of the tins or something and nothing so but we gonna see we gonna keep hunting i really like the sun and moon set so we gonna keep buying it up if I can get it for a good price and come across it in trade, we're going to keep getting it. So let's see. Oh, y'all ready for Christmas? Earlier today, we went uh, went to Lowe's and got another Christmas tree because we already had one. My, well, my grandfather, he we have a property in North Carolina. Um, my grandma and my auntie and my grandfather do, should I say. And he goes up there every year and buy, uh, goes to a tree farm and picks the tree and they cut it down right there and then he brings trees home which is dope that's cool but uh so he hooked us they hooked us up with a tree and we decorated it and got it all nice let's see we got 10 seconds left still no bids but we went out today and got another tree i guess between six and seven feet come on y'all ain't going by it what's up and it did not sell that's fun we ain't going to sweat it. Let's see if the other Charizard sells. And that has three minutes left. Three minutes and 46 seconds. And as you can see, that is the 2000 Team Rocket set. It's your first edition Dark... First edition Dark Charizard Hollow Mint 9. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. But once again, I believe it was the centering that put us off. And the fact that on the back of the card was a little tiny bit of marks on the edges here. Boom, there's one. There's a little bit here you can see. But no biggie, no biggie. Yep, but so we went and got another tree. And we actually got a little itty bitty tree that we put, we're putting in my son's room. Because I grew up, me and my brother, one of my brothers always shared a room. He was the closest one. We're the only one with the same mom and the same dad. And he was the closest one to me in age. We're only like a, a little bit over a year apart in age. So, uh, my mama, she used to always, when we were growing up, make sure we had a little tree in our room, and that was, at that tree, we always kept decorating everything, you know what I mean, like a really cool nightlight type, but, uh, you know, only around Christmas time, a real tree, 
And uh, the day before Christmas, the night before Christmas, there would be presents underneath the tree from Santa Mouse. Just a couple little small things, but I thought that was dope. I always thought that was really cool and look forward to it, so it's something I'm going to practice with my son. And I'm sure that he's going to like it. Let's see if we can get a bid on this one. That'd be cool. I'd be happy if I sold them both for two thirty-three, I'd have been a whole lot happier if they'd have came back now. Uh, not nines, tens, dimes. Dimes is what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready for Christmas breakfast. It's going to be dope. I'm going to cook a whole lot of stuff. Biscuits and gravy. Hash browns. Corned beef hash. Cinnamon rolls. Eggs, bacon, ham, sausage. It's gonna be bomb. So we got a minute and 33 seconds left, and so far we've only sold one of those cards, but that's alright. Idiot, what it is. The other card that I sent in a PSA, the last one that they have of mine at this current moment is, um, that's the Burning Shadows Hyper Rare Charizard. And that card I'm really hoping to get a 10 on because that card was in fantastic pack fresh condition. Picked it up and traded it and pulled it myself, but we'll see. They haven't, they haven't uh, even grade, it hasn't gone through the grading sketch section yet, whatever you want to call it, process step. And therefore, it's probably still going to be a while before I receive it. Two weeks or something. So hopefully they grade it soon. And it can get back to us. And then I'll make a video, of course, of me opening it up. So y'all can be right there with me when I pull out that dime. I hope it's a dime. That'd be dope. If it is if it is a 10, gem mint 10, then it's worth like five, six, seven hundred dollars $700 or something like that. If it's a 9, then, well, I just sold one. For $151. I could have sold it for a little more. Like $175 or something potentially. But it's all good. So we're under 10 seconds. And no bids. 6 seconds. 3 seconds. 1 second. And it did not sell. Nobody jumped on it. So it is what it is. Appreciate y'all. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, support your boy. You know what I mean? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I'm sure I'll see you again before then. But there it is. Until next time. Hollow.